Tim Burton revealed his days working with Disney might be done. Burton, 64, opened up about the future of his career during the Lumiere Festival in Lyon, France. The filmmaker revealed the only project he is about to embark on is Netflix's Wednesday The Addams Family spin-off series. During a press conference, Burton criticized Disney for becoming very homogenized. The studio is only focused on the Marvel, Star Wars, or Pixar films. It's gotten to be very homogenized, very consolidated. There's less room for different types of things, he said, according to Deadline, before declaring he wouldn't work on a Marvel movie. I can only deal with one universe. L can't deal with a multi-universe, he said. Tim Burton claimed his days working with Disney were done after his experience filming the Dumbo remake. Tim Burton claimed his days working with Disney were done after his experience filming the Dumbo remake. Sylvain Lefebvre slash Getty Images Tim Burton slammed for comments on diversity. Burton also admitted he was fired by the studio several times throughout his career. My history is that I started out there, he noted. I was hired and fired like several times throughout my career there. The thing about Dumbo, is that's why I think my days with Disney are done. I realized that I was Dumbo, that I was working in this horrible, big circus and I needed to escape. That movie is quite autobiographical at a certain level. Despite his decision to stop working with Disney, the Nightmare Before Christmas producer noted that he's never considered going the route of independent film. Here's the thing. Independent film, I don't know. I've only worked mainly with studios, so I never really understood what an independent film was, Burton said during the press conference. Burton began his career with Disney. His work on Stock of the Celery Monster led the studio to offer him an apprenticeship for animation. His early work, which didn't end up in the finished films, included Fox and the Hound, The Black Cauldron and Tron. After establishing his career, the filmmaker was best known for his fantasy horror films, including The Addams Family, Beetlejuice and Edward Scissorhands. He's also known for Batman and Alice in Wonderland. The thing crawling on Jimmy Workman and Karel Strucken in a scene from Tim Burton's film The Addams Family. The thing crawling on Jimmy Workman and Karel Strucken in a scene from Tim Burton's film The Addams Family. Orion slash Getty Images. Click here to sign up for the entertainment newsletter. His latest project, Wednesday, will premiere November 23rd on Netflix, according to Deadline. Burton is directing the show alongside Al Goff and Miles Miller, the creators of Smallville. Jenny Ortega stars as Wednesday Adams. Wednesday is currently a teenager, and we've never seen her as a teenager before. Her snarky, Snide remarks might not necessarily sound as charming when they're coming from somebody who should probably know better than a 10-year-old girl. That was a balancing act. We didn't want to make her sound like every other teenage girl, but we also didn't want to make her too ignorant, Ortega said about playing the character. And we've never seen her on screen this much. Any other time you've seen Wednesday, she's been the one-liner, the end of a joke, she always hits it and I think that's what people really love about her. But in this show, every scene is Wednesday. There's an opportunity to give her a bit more dimension, and she becomes a bit more of a real person, which I don't think we've ever seen before. Luis Guzma and stars Gomez Adams, Jenna Ortega as Wednesday Adams and Catherine Zeta-Jones as Morticia Adams in Netflix's upcoming spin-off series Wednesday. Luis Guzma and stars Gomez Adams, Jenna Ortega as Wednesday Adams and Catherine Zeta-Jones as Morticia Adams in Netflix's upcoming spin-off series Wednesday. Courtesy of Netflix Copyright 2022